Hi, I'm Stegy from Elgato, and this, and this, is Wave DX. Wave DX is the latest to join Elgato's line of Wave microphones. Wave DX is both our first XLR microphone as well as our first dynamic microphone. And the best part? It's priced at only 99 US dollars. Now, this might be a lot to unpack at once, so let's go over what this all even means. First, what is XLR and why did we make this microphone XLR? Well, unlike a USB microphone where the microphone is plugged directly into a computer and the conversion from your analog voice to digital USB audio is all done within the mic itself, XLR is an analog audio connection, which for the purpose of audio recording makes this process modular, where you have the mic itself, which remains analog, and then you have an interface, which is the device you plug your microphone into that gets you to your end goal. This could be a USB interface like Wave XLR, which lets you hook up your XLR mic to your computer for a powerful live streaming setup. This could be an amplifier you've hooked your mic into for live speaking. You could have a large audio mixer for more complex broadcasts that require more audio sources, or maybe you even have a portable recorder so you can create podcasts on the go, no computer needed at all. So essentially with XLR comes modularity and flexibility. You can have one microphone which you can connect to a variety of endpoints to suit multiple needs, or you have a setup which you have a lot of options for upgrading your setup as you grow. Let's take streaming for example. You could start out with a Wave DX and an inexpensive USB interface from Amazon to get up and running. Then as your channel grows, you can upgrade the interface for something more powerful like Wave XLR, which will not only give you better audio quality with its high quality preamp and its analog to digital converter, but also gives you a variety of features like ClipGuard to prevent distortion in your audio from overly loud signals, or Wavelink, a software-based digital audio mixer. And let's say down the line you even want to upgrade your Wave DX. You can absolutely do this. Though I would argue you'd be hard pressed to find something with an improvement audio quality wise unless you go several price brackets higher. But the point is because of this XLR connection, you now have this ability to do a sort of stepping stone upgrade path to grow into your perfect audio setup. So that answers the XLR portion, but what's a dynamic microphone and why did we decide to go with this? Well, without getting too bogged down in the technical details, there are two types of microphones condenser microphones and dynamic microphones. And the easiest analogy I can use to describe them is imagine you're speaking into an audio recorder. So if you had an audio recorder like a condenser microphone, it would be powered by a battery or by a wall outlet. And then when you hit record, it starts recording and listening for any audio you throw its way. But with a dynamic microphone as an audio recorder, there's no power from a battery or wall outlet. The recorder is powered by the force of the sound waves from your voice which will require you to be closer to the microphone to trigger the power. So in the world of audio, you might've heard the phrase phantom power. And this essentially refers to the power that's fed into a condenser microphone so it can work properly and listen for your audio. Whereas dynamic microphones, your voice essentially powers the microphone's initial signal. But in either case, these signals then get boosted to audible levels because that signal is run through an amplifier. Now, in any case, you might be saying, Okay, so that's the difference between the technology, but what does this exactly mean when I'm using a microphone? Well, to put it simply, each microphone tech has its own advantages and disadvantages. Condenser microphones can capture more audio detail, allow you to use them when you're farther away, and sound more natural. However, they are more sensitive to background noise. Meanwhile, dynamic microphones reject more background noise, but do require you to be very close to the microphone to have your full vocal presence, and you do lose a bit of clarity and detail compared to condenser microphones. And for sound signature, because you have to be so close to a dynamic microphone to get them to work properly, this gives an overall sound a bassy kind of signature, which has become sort of the trademark radio DJ type of voice. So with this said, why did we decide to go with dynamic for Wave DX? Well, it comes down to how the mic will be used and what it's used with with that XLR connection. Let's take streaming for example. Now you want to have some noise removal options if your mic is close to your keyboard to prevent your viewers from hearing too many distracting noises. Now when you stream, there's lots of options for this whether you have a condenser or a dynamic microphone. Now dynamic microphones get you almost all the way there without adding any software effects which is great. Meanwhile with condenser microphones you have options like adding noise gates or even AI background noise removal like Nvidia Broadcast. Now the trade-offs here is that with AI noise removal, depending on the strength you set it to you could start to hear some audio artifacts. Whereas with the dynamic option you won't have this artifacting, but if you move out of the microphone's optimal range or face a different direction you might lose a lot of presence in your voice with some dynamic microphones more than others. So you have options with either mic in this use case, but once you start to connect your XLR microphone into different interfaces is when the dynamic advantages really come into play. 
Because if you're connecting your microphone into a recorder, you won't have options like NVIDIA Broadcast. So being able to shut out some background noise can be really clutch in these instances. Additionally, in the case of XLR microphones being used with multi-input recorders or audio mixers for multiple people talking for group streams, podcasts, etc., dynamic is really important here because you want to reject the noise from the other people you're speaking to so each of your microphones pick up just your voice. Because if you look at the AI background noise removals like NVIDIA Broadcast, these programs look for non-vocal audio to remove. So if you have multiple voices going into a microphone, AI background noise removal won't remove it because it's designed to not remove vocals. So hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of which type of microphone is for you. I would say for most content creators, if you're looking at the XLR interface, dynamic is a great option. While USB, you can go with either and be all set. So if you're going XLR, why go with WaveDX over the competition out there? Well, first off, let's talk about price. WaveDX is only 99 US dollars, making it an extremely cost-effective option for XLR dynamic microphones. And at that price tag, WaveDX boxes well above its weight class, offering audio quality that rivals microphones over three times its price. Now just how good does WaveDX sound? Well, I've been recording this entire video using a WaveDX hooked into a Wave XLR. Now there's no post-processing, no VSTs, no EQ. This is straight out of the box with just ClipGuard enabled because I can get a little loud when I record these things. Secondly, like our other Wave microphones, Wave DX has a great out-of-box experience. As I mentioned, with the way you speak into a dynamic microphone, they can sound really bass heavy, which at a certain point makes your audio sound muddy and requires a lot of tweaking to get things to sound a little bit more natural. But out of the box, not only does Wave DX sound great, it actually has a more natural sound reminiscent of condenser microphones. Now, there will still be a good amount of bass, but we've just made sure it's not too heavy-handed. However, if you're a fan of the heavy bass sound signature, Wave DX is just as configurable as the more expensive dynamic microphones. And if you're using an interface such as Wave XLR, getting the deep bass sort of radio DJ kind of tone is as easy as pressing one button. And for further tweaking, Wave XLR opens you up to easy to configure equalizing, or EQ, so you're no more than a few clicks from getting the perfect sound. So Wave DX is great out of the box, but flexible enough to get you your perfect sound. All for just 99 US dollars. Be sure to check out our Olgato Workshop channel to check out how to use some of the new features we've added to Wavelink that work amazingly with Wave DX and Wave XLR. Wave DX is now available on Elgato.com. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that like button and get subscribed to our Elgato YouTube channel and our Elgato Workshop channel so you can catch our latest videos and tutorials and learn how to unlock the full power of your Elgato products. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and until our next video, good luck and have fun.